I don't need to be liked. I need to educate. Assalamu. Karal hali hawa ba som ya usai ba som raka kudash. Roda bala nasi ya pasas an alaz of GMS and anastadi akemu over there pushing his word day in day out sincerity and truth. Hopefully lek se shalom. Um. I was watching this movie called um, well, Fist Fight and one of the things that <clears throat> one of the statements that, that the actor Ice Cube actually made was a very powerful statement. You know the statement what he made was her saying that he do not need to be liked, he need to educate. Because we know it's all a movie, but that applies to us in the truth. You know, because we actually seeing further than ourselves i should say we actually see in the destruction what is to come you know because the prophets also was known as seers you know so we actually see in the destruction is to come we actually see any destruction is at hand so we need to educate you know the people although all of the mosai when you read ezekiel the second chapter and the third chapter also although the mosai knew that the people would not listen but we actually out there to actually educate the people, you know, and some of the people will hear. That is our job. Our job is to educate and not to be liked, because even in the, if you, even in the prophets of old, they never look, they never like the prophets of old, you know, the prophets of past, which we believe that we are the same prophets of past, you know. So the same thing that they did not like us back then, they they, they would not like us now. You know, and, and when Ice Cube say that, it's like, whoa, that's a powerful statement. You know, he need to, he need, he do not need to be like, he need to be, ed, he need to educate. You know, and um, I just want to go to a, um, a two or three precepts. You know, just to actually show why we educating the people and them out there. You know, because why we educating, we actually pulling on and casting down imaginations you know you know I, I, what the devil put up you know we actually pulling it down to the spirit and power you know this is um second timothy 3 uh verse 15 uh, start from verse 15 no start from verse 14 he said but continue thou in the things which thou hast learned which is this knowledge, which is this truth, and has been assured of, knowing of whom thou hast learned them. You know, because we actually have teachers above us, starting from Apostle Ella, Taha, and come down. We actually have teachers over us. So, you know, we actually believe by faith these are the men that they have a Bashem or Shai put over us to actually wake up this, this so called, the so, um, the hope for the elect, I should say. You know, 2 Timothy 3, verse 15. And that from a child thou hast known the holy scriptures, which are able to make thee wise unto salvation through the faith which is in a house of Mashiach. You know? All scriptures is given by inspiration of the Most High So, you know, all scriptures, you know, all this whole book. Because this book is a sealed book. And you know, and you cannot get the understanding just so. You need teachers above you, and the Mosai actually dealing with, with men's spirit. So it was actually given to, the, to, to higher men in the spirit, you know? So all scriptures is given by inspiration of the Mosai Hawa, and it is profitable for doctrine. You know, profitable for doctrine. You know, and one of the, one of the words for doctrine is, is to edify. You know, that, we, that will be out there too, to edify the people, to actually wake them up, to actually see what we see you know but we only know what but we know through the scriptures that only elect will hear is only the only the elect will actually awaken will be awoken you know and walk in the light for reproof and that's what we're doing right now when we go out on the highways and the bibles we're proofing two-thirds of our people you know and the other nations you know pulling on and casting on i should say the imaginations of the other nations 
and we prefer the, the, the two thirds of our own people, the wicked, because they are, they are wicked, they actually want to follow the imaginations that w w what these other nations actually put up. You know? For reproof, for correction, for correction, you know, and we, we don't know how, how it is to actually correct a Jake. You know, Jakes do not like correction. You know, two thirds of our people do not like correction. You know, and these other nations do not like correction too. You know, it started with the so called white man. You know, which is the devil, he do not like correction, but we, the most I have about some of I have us out there actually pushing that vibration. You know, the correction vibration where, where things that they have, you know, like things like women over men and, and these kind of madness in the society, like homosexuals getting married and things. That is contrary to that. That is contrary to the Messiah. How about some other side? Like the wisdom that going back to the wisdom of this world, you know. And that's why we all they casting it down. We casting on that that imagination, you know. For correction, for instructions in righteousness, and we all they pushing this world. We actually all they calling on on the two thirds of our people. I know where the elect. Actually, we actually calling out to the elect. While, while the gate of repentance is open, you know, and we know that, that, that a little, that a handful of our people will actually turn back to the Mosai. You know, we actually know that through the scriptures, you know, that the man of the most, 2 Timothy 3 verse 17, that the man of the Mosai may be perfect, truly furnished unto all good works, unto all good works, you know. And that will be all they're doing, the, the, the good works of the Heavenly Father, you know. This is, um, I think it's 2 Corinthians chapter 10, uh, verse 5. Uh, I'll start from verse 3, 2 Corinthians 10, verse 3. For though we walk in the flesh, we do not walk after the flesh. Because when we are all there and, and when we do, doing our set downs and things, our only power is the scriptures, you know, and faith and prayer. Fasting, that, that, is, that is our power, you know, the power, but the power, the real power is in the scriptures, you know. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, are not carnal, meaning that from this world, our weapons, our, our warfare, they cannot see it, but it's a spiritual warfare, you know, so wherever we are, God, we serve spiritually, you know. And by doing the works and sincerely with the Heavenly Father, you know, we are actually casting down imagination and casting down the principalities and powers of this world. You know, for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal but mighty to the most high, to the pulling down of strongholds, to the pulling down of strongholds. You know, that, that the veil what, 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 what is cast up over the elect what, and over the, um, the two thirds, but we, we already know that the elect was, was destined to be saved and the most I will actually wake them up and how they will act and the most I will wake them up to the prophets and the teachers on the streets, you know, and which, which we believe by faith that we are the men of the most I have a you know, so we pull in on the strongholds of the, of the so called society, this wicked kingdom. This is our world, you know, and we would not be like for it. At the end of the day, we would not be like for it because every single brother in this truth when going through some circumstances, whereas if it was possible to be put to death right now, the people will put, will put them to death because they do not like us. They do not like the truth, they do not like the, the song doctrine that we were coming in. And song doctrine is actually to, to actually to edify these people, but these people reject it. And that is why the most will be justified in the killing of two thirds of our people. You know, because why? They will persecute us because they do not like us. Because we come in with the raw truth. You know, we come in with the raw truth, so they would not like us, so they will persecute us. But nevertheless, if we die in this flesh, we shall still live. And we shall live and reign with the Hawa Basham You know, and that the glory. That is real glory. You know? 
For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. Second Corinthians 10 verse 4. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty to the most high, to, to the pulling down of strongholds. You know? And that's what we're doing right now, because right now when you're really watching news and stuff like that, this devil, we had this devil on easy, this devil actually losing sleep. Because we actually saw him, we actually bringing out truth, we actually bringing out knowledge, what was hidden. And nobody wouldn't like it first because that, that, is, that, that is just the way the most I set it up. But we're supposed to push on to the end and hold on to the end. Second Corinthians chapter 10 verse 5. Casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalted itself against the, the knowledge of the Most High. So everything in this world, the scripture said, he bring the foolishness. The wisdom of this world is foolishness to the Most High. How about Shami Oshai? You know, it's foolishness. Same, same sex marriage is foolishness. That is utter nastiness. You know, having a woman over a man, that is utter madness. Having women so, so, so cling on to the system. Having men and having the men also cling, so cling to these women. You know, this madness. Everything is upside down in the society. Because why? The earth is given to the hands of the wicked. You know, so that's why we all they're pulling on pulling down all these wicked imaginations. You know, through the spirit and power, yeah, our basha me shy. You know, and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of the most high power and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Yahweh Shai Mashiach. Every thought. You know, and that's what we do you now they actually ed try, try to educate our people. So you know when the destruction come, they had been warned. When the destruction come, they had been warned because before the boss I actually take out a place, he sent his prophets. You know, and his prophets will not be like. When they read all the prophets from old, they will not be like. There was not a prophet was that was likable. You know, all of them face death. You know, and all of them face tribulation and persecution. But the most I actually delivered them out of it all. You know? I want to make this video too long, but I know the brothers and them get the point that when we're out there, we're not to be light, but we just need to educate and push on. That's all. That's all our job to educate and push on. You know, we, know we will not be light, and we accept that already, and that, is the, and that is the office that we have. We will not be light. You know? So, with that, I say, Shalom.